Hi, I was going to show you the um, summon feature of uh, Model 3, but first let's um, check out the Model X. And uh, I want to show you how easy and smooth we are to summon it. That's how this makes it useful. It's pretty tight over here. See, there's really no room for me to um, maneuver easily. So I actually, if I open the door, I could barely fit in there and it would probably hit the car. So I usually come out of the car and some. Now, the Model 3 also now has a uh, Simmons feature, so I'm going to show you how, um, I guess it will show how different it is because the summon feature with um, Model X is quite fast. So it says summons is currently disabled. Please enable summon in your vehicle. Oh, I haven't done that yet. So let me do that and then I will continue with the video. Let's see if I could do this. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it might be under driving. Secure, oh, there you go, autopilot. There you go, it's on autopilot and I'll put summon data. Blah, 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 yes. I need to customize it, by the way. So bumper clearance, probably 12 inches. Summon distance at 25 feet. Require continuous press. Use auto home link. Um, this is pretty good when you do this because um, you could summon the um, car from outside of your garage with the garage door closed and it would open the garage door. So that's a good function. Okay, now I'm going to step out of the car and see if we could summon it. I'm excited, but oh my goodness, it's not connecting easily. Not like with the Model X. Uh, we'll see. It's been over a minute now. I think I'm going to pause the video and you could notice the time. Wow, this is taking so long. Ah, and I was going to show you how convenient uh, the feature is. But with this connecting so slowly, I don't know. Maybe you have to be in the front. Let's see. Still connecting, still connecting, still connecting. And look how tight it is. So it, it's really convenient to have a uh, summons feature. Or you could get a bigger garage. Still not connecting. Reconnect. Sometimes when this does this, they tell you to turn off the Bluetooth, wait a few seconds, and then turn on the Bluetooth. So finally, after a few, gosh, minutes maybe, let's see if it works. There you go, it's turning on the car. Is this connection interrupted? Okay, there you go. Come on, keep going. Wow, it keeps getting interrupted. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Okay, stop. <laughs> this is not smooth. 
Okay. Let's do the let's do the forward now. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can do this. Uh oh. Oh, where's it going? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's gonna hit the Model X. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna have to self-park this. Let's see if it learned it. Let's see if I reverse it if it learned it. Come on, Model 3. There we go. Let's see if it can straight, straighten up. Straighten up, baby. Okay. Okay, that's far enough. Now let's see if you can straighten up. Let's reconnect. Now let's do forward. I'm pressing forward, I'm pressing forward, it's not connecting, summon is tapping, preparing to summon, so this summon feature really, really sucks, look, it backed up straight and then it just went forward now, it looks like I have to Park it myself. <laughs>